Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of Format Podcast Live. Yes, yes, yes. So um, this week's been a crazy week in terms of uh, when I'm dropping shows and uh, when I'm giving you guys the content that I normally do. But, um, you know, things come up and then you got the holiday week and all this kind of stuff going on. And so um, I wasn't sure what my schedule is going to look like uh, later later today. Today is Wednesday, obviously, the day before Thanksgiving. So I wanted to make sure that I got on here and um, gave you guys the content that you normally get from me, <clears throat> excuse me, on a Wednesday. So I said, all right, let me let me get in here early. Let me go ahead and uh, deliver this and uh, drop the show. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully we get some people in here in the chat. I know it's a, a very odd time, totally different from when I normally do it, but at least uh, for those who don't catch it live, you'll be able to see the replay, uh, you know, later today or if you want to watch it tomorrow or whenever that may be. So uh, at least I will have the opportunity to uh, to get this out to you guys. Again, don't know uh, what my schedule is going to look like later today, but I wanted to make sure that I got this content out to you. So we got some uh, we got some good stuff. I appreciate anybody who's uh, who's um, showing up here this morning. It's not that serious. What's good, bro? Haven't seen you in a while, man. Pleasure to see you back in the back in the chat. Um, but yeah, anyone who's uh, anyone who's uh, uh, checking in, I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate that. Helps the show grow. Helps the YouTube algorithm push it out to uh, more people who uh, may want to listen and uh, make sure you hit that share button as well. Share button is powerful. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to drop my little spiel and then we'll go ahead and get going. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like, that five star review, and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. And finally, make sure you write it down, put it in your phone, set an alarm. Do whatever you got to do to remember Saturday nights at 7 p.m. We are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in. Talk to us. Get at me. I love it. I can't. All right. Next up, final topic of the day. NFL. Let's get to the NFL real quick. Uh, Saquon Barkley. Absolute monster. We saw this guy with uh, 255 rushing yards last week. Uh, against the was that against the Rams to set the Eagles uh, single game rushing record. He's currently now on pace to win the um, not to win. He's currently on pace to break Eric Dickerson's what 40 year old uh, single season NFL rushing record and get over 21 uh, 2100 rushing yards. Probably won't get there, but because you know people are going to want to stop that, right? He's going to be a focal point of defense, like I talked about earlier, in terms of. Uh, in terms of uh was it um like the ravens uh yeah so saquon um he he's now on pace to uh break the break the rushing record single season and derrick henry might be right behind him on that as well so we'll we'll see how that plays out but again the, you know that defenses are really going to be keying on this dude but yeah so he is he's having a monster season and uh he's going nuts and now the question the question arises because for a while it was like okay the MVP is Lamar Jackson's to lose and, or is it Derrick Henry? Is he in the running for it? Um, we keep hearing the name Josh Allen popping up because he's putting up good numbers. He's not turning the football over. The Buffalo bills are very quietly nine and two on the year. Um, so, you know, there's, there's competitors out there, but then we keep getting back to the, to I guess the main point, Saquon is a running back and, we know, unfortunately, the MVP has turned into a quarterback award, right? And so Saquon is likely going to be offensive player of the year, but, you know, you got to wonder um, what it's going to be. Now, if the Ravens finish strong and Lamar goes on a tear, then he will probably get it again. I don't know if there'll be some voter fatigue because uh, that would be, what, his third one. And then I guess in the back of their minds, it's going to be the same thing. Like, uh, you know, OK, well, he's keep getting these things. Um are we gonna are we gonna see it in terms of you know the postseason? But again, that's irrelevant because this is a regular season award, right? Um, Michael Campbell says uh, uh, Eagles record isn't MVP worthy. Where are the Eagles? Uh, nine and two? Um, I think they're nine and two, right? Love the hat, Mike. Appreciate you, bro. Go Irish. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think the Eagles are nine and two. So I mean that that says MVP worthy to me. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what it is down the stretch. But anyway, 
Uh, Saquon is he's out here killing. Let's hear what um what what different guys had to say about him following his uh explosive performance um against the Rams. So this first one this is about four minutes long, so be advised on that. And it is from the facility with uh, James Jones, uh, Shady McCoy, and uh, um, Emmanuel Acho. And then we'll uh, we'll hear some thoughts from uh, we'll come back, react to that, and then we'll hear some thoughts from first take, and then we'll get out of here. So what Saquon did yesterday, I know how special it is because yeah. I saw the previous record. Shady, I'm an MVP voter, but I want to hear from you first. Is Saquon Barkley officially the MVP? Why not? It's, it's here. <laughs> MVP! Oh, oh, yeah. MVP! Saquon for MVP, baby! Why not? I mean, listen, let's be serious here. He's going on pace for 2,000 yards, yeah, right? Yeah. And when you watch the games, like sometimes we, we, I don't really look at the stats, right? You got to be there and watch. When you're there watching, he just takes your breath away. Yeah, Every man. single carry, if for one yard, two yards, you know it's coming. Eventually it's going to come. And when it comes, oh, 130 something. Okay, so we rolling right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they see what I see. You get this guy home, he's going to make you miss and go to the crib. The thing about Saquon that people don't know, not only the talent he has, he is so explosive and so fast. Yeah. But he's a home run hitter at 225 pounds. You don't really see that. I think Saquon is the reason why we will be in a Super Bowl in New Orleans. And you talk about MVP, that's what MVP is all about. I don't care about all these regular stats and all that, because we can talk about all these other MVPs. What's the difference between number MVPs and Saquon? Mm. The difference is he's carrying them. Eagles are not the same without number 26 back there. He got to be an MVP. I know it's a quarterback award. I know that. I get yeah. all that. But when you look at these players, look at what are they really bringing to the table. Saquon is not only bringing stats, he's bringing legacy, bro, and he's also bringing a championship opportunity. Mm. Mm. That's well said. Uh, mm. And hey, number two, up. front runner, Jay? Front runner, no. Uh, he's, he's definitely in the conversation, he but front runner, no. But uh, the offensive player of the year, the ticket is in. Uh, <laughs> even, if, even if they said, Saquon, you rest in the whole year, the ticket is in, right? Saquon Barkley's the offensive player of the year. He's the perfect piece to the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, he's man. the perfect complement to, to Jalen Hurts. He's the perfect complement to A.J. Brown. I know Smitty didn't play yesterday, but he's the perfect complement to Smitty. He is the perfect complement to this football team. Offensive player of the year. My man is on pace, like y'all said, for 2,100 yards. But not only that, like, my main thing is, is when when you get into these MVP conversations, when you play really good football teams and you play teams that are supposed to be legit, right? And I'm not saying the Rams is legit, but the Eagles have played some, some good teams. Every time they take the football field, you know who the best player on the field is. Yeah, more now. And and that is clear. That is clear as day. And the best player on the field is Saquon Barkley. So he's definitely in the conversation. Obviously, we know it's a quarterback award. If Josh Allen keep doing what he's doing, if Lamar yeah. keep doing what he's doing, it's gonna be one of them. But Saquon Barkley, with what he's doing right now, making everybody around him better because now. that's what the quarterbacks do. Yeah. They make everybody around him better. Saquon Barkley is making everybody around him better, from the quarterbacks yes. to the wideouts to the O line. Because and I know y'all want to talk about. And I didn't play running back, but I know y'all want to talk about uh, he ain't touched until 600 yards down. It's a lot of these runs that he's cutting all the way back that some running backs that I know will run right there and get three yards. Division. You know what I'm saying? And Long Saquon is seeing this and cutting this stuff back and turning these five-yard yeah. runs into home run yeah. runs. It's, it's, it's special, man. But he's definitely in the conversation. Offensive player of the year for sure. I can't say MVP front run. As, as an MVP voter, I'll make it very simple. If Saquon Barkley breaks the 40-year-old Eric Dickerson rushing record of 2,100 yards, Saquon Barkley will win MVP, yeah, yeah. barring someone else breaking a record. Saquon Barkley's on pace for 2,150 yards. If you can break a NFL record, their NFL's been around for 70 years, if you can break an NFL record, and if you can break Eric Dickerson's record over the last 40 years, he is the MVP. It is simple as that. When you watch Saquon Barkley, and I have the pleasure of watching him in person, it's like going to one of those high school games where there's a five-star recruit on the field, mm. and that one parent leans up to you and says, you know he's committed to Georgia, right? <laughs> you know they're committed to Texas. You know they're committed to Missouri. And and it's like, oh, now it all makes sense. They're on a different level than everybody else. With that being said, if Saquon Barkley continues this trajectory, he had more scrimmage yards yesterday than eight NFL yeah, teams. Eight crazy. NFL teams, oh, y'all. Currently, he has the third most yards per carry. Shady, Shady will love this stat. Third most yards per carry in the history of the NFL with a minimum man. of 200 attempts. Come on, man. Six point. Jim Brown, Wild. Jamal Charles, and then Saquon Barkley. Jamal. Saquon isn't just in the MVP conversation. If he breaks the record, he will have my vote. Mm. I can't speak for all voters, but he will have my vote. It's as simple as that. All right, so there, there you heard it. So, Michael, that was uh, that was it in terms of uh, when you said you got to knock off a legendary player stat. That's uh, very possible that that might end up happening. So, yeah. So Saquon is uh, he's on pace for it, man. Now I know that a lot of uh, when it comes to sports and sports media, we get caught up in uh, recency bias and watching what he did. Oh my gosh, he ran for two fifty five. He had over three hundred yards of total offense. Totally get it, but he is a monster. Um, 
you know what? That that's that's definitely fair, um, Michael. Uh, they do have more games now. Uh, what is seventeen games now? So you know, with all these sports, you got to take into account the changes when you're talking about um, records breaking and all that. It's like the same thing with the Barry Sanders rushing record in college. Now they include the um, the bowl game stats and all that, so it's not quite the same. So I totally get it, but I mean, at the end of the day, if if he gets busy, which you know, a lot of players have been close to it, but they haven't gotten there because you know defenses are like yo. I'm not trying to see <laughs> defenses are all like, I'm not trying to see any record get broken on us. And so they're all keying on him. So I totally get it. But, you know, um, I think it's an argument and it's a legit argument and he's in it. I'm not saying he will get it, but he's in it. And um, to your point, Derrick Henry is is right behind him. Uh, I think Derrick Henry's like maybe 50 yards behind him on the season. And Derrick Henry probably would be ahead if not for Todd Munkin. And I'm not going to get into that, but um, yeah, he, he, you know, both of these guys are monsters and we'll see how it ends up. But I think when in doubt, they're going to want to give it to a quarterback. And again, if Lamar or Josh Allen goes off the rest of the way, then you may see it uh, happening for one of those guys. All right. Last one. I'll go ahead and play Stephen A and Shannon Sharp's um, commentary on it. And then uh, I will take a call or two and then we'll get out of here. Right now, I think he should be right there atop with Josh Allen. It's a pick em, It's a pick'em race as far as I'm concerned. I've got Lamar Jackson lower than them. Right now, you've got four losses and two to two, the two last place teams in the National Football League. You're not even in first place in your own division. So I'm not going to give that to you, whereas we can't say the same thing about Josh Allen. But when you look at what the Philadelphia Eagles have been doing, when you look at the kind of impact that Saquon Barkley has had, there's no denying that he should be right there with Josh Allen leading the Way for league MVP honors. I mean, he's 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 the leader rusher and one leader rushes in the NFL. Certainly leading in yards per carry, the touchdowns, the yards from scrimmage, every single category that you can pick for a running back, he's at or not, or right there behind or behind the top spot. He's been absolutely sensational, and he's made things a lot easier for Jalen Hurts. They won last night without Devontae Smith. We just have to make sure that we spend time giving credit to the Eagles' defense, who've held seven consecutive opponents in this winning streak that they've been on to under 300 total yards. So I got to give credit where credit is due to the defense as well. But Saquon Barkley has been absolutely positively nothing short of sensational. And him and Josh Allen, as far as I'm concerned right now, it's a pick em. It's nip and tuck. Shay? Stephen, I can't say that I disagree disagree with you. He definitely ran himself smack dab into the MVP conversation. Now he goes. Now he's on pace to rush for 2,151 yards. If he runs for over 2,100 yards and break Eric Dickerson's long-standing record, he absolutely deserves the MVP. And no player has had a bigger impact on his team than what Saquon Barkley has had on the Philadelphia Eagles. And we know just two years ago, Teddy and Stephen A. They went to the uh, Super Bowl. This team is a better team. They're better equipped because of Saquon because they have. Have a running back that can hit his head on the goalpost from anywhere on the football field. He can catch it. He can run it. He's always that threat. And Stephen A., you're absolutely right. Big Fangio has this defense playing outstanding. Their front, front, their front four, now they did take a blow last night with Brandon Graham being out. But they can get after you and they get that offense right back on the field. And they put 37 on the board without Devontae Smith. But when you look at Saquon and you look at what he's meant to this offense, it's game in and it's game out. His imprint has been on every single game. He ran himself right back to the top of the leaderboard in the MVP discussion. And if you go back and look at it, it's going to show you, it's showing you just how valuable the running back position is. You look at uh, uh, Derrick Henry, you look at a Joe Mixon, you look at a Aaron Jones, you look at Chuba Hubbard. The running back has had a resurgence because teams are giving them opportunities to put their thumbprint on the, on the game. But Saquon Barkley has been the biggest difference in the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, they're playing better off defensively. Absolutely. But when you look at this offense and they can score from anywhere on the field, the thing is, can they stay healthy? We see A.J. Brown has been nicked. We see Devontae's been nicked. And they've been in and out of the lineup with that offensive line. But if Saquon and Hurts stay healthy and they can keep this team healthy, they will be, hey, I want to see that matchup, them and the Lions. They are for real. The Eagles are legit. All right. So a lot of good stuff about Saquon and um, pretty much not, not much more I can say other than that. But he is uh, I don't know if he has put himself to the top of the leaderboard for the MVP race, but he's definitely up there. It might it might be pretty tight at the top. Um, yeah, no, you're absolutely right, uh, Michael. Derrick Henry can pass him in one game and we'll see if that happens. Um, matter of fact, we got Baltimore and Philly this weekend. Right. So. We'll we'll see what happens. Um, and, and it might happen because Baltimore's got a better run defense than Philadelphia does. So we shall see. 
And, uh, you know, still a lot of football games left, right? What, five or six games left this season. So I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out because what you got, no one's really talking about Derrick Henry, but he's right there as well. I think, again, it was just the kind of spectacular nature of the way Saquon did it the other night that's got everybody up in arms about his opportunity to uh, become the MVP. So you got a Saquon, you got a Derrick Henry, you got a Lamar Jackson, you got a Josh Allen. You have guys in the running. So um, I don't know if he's definitively the front runner, but again, if he breaks that record, then he'll probably get it. Like you can't ignore that, but he's also got a good chance to be offensive player of the year. But then if he could be offensive player of the year, to your point, Derrick Henry could be uh, uh offensive player of the year. So um, I am going to leave it right there. Um, I will put the number in the chat. I'll take one or two more uh, calls. If anybody's uh, interested in calling in to, to speak on that, all right, Michael, man, happy Thanksgiving to you, too, as well. Go Irish, man. Enjoy the game. Uh, we should uh, smack around USC on Saturday afternoon. But, yeah, if anybody wants to uh, give a call and um, uh, give their thoughts on Saquon and, and whether or not he can uh, become the MVP, I'll wait a minute here. If not, I will get out of here, go about my business. I'll say this. Um, if anybody's in the chat, you haven't already, please click that like and subscribe button and make sure you share the show out to other people. The share button is powerful. Let's get us further and further into the YouTube algorithm so it can push out to more people and, and help the show grow. I'm um, working on uh, getting a membership set up. So um, we'll see about that in the future. Um, hopefully, hopefully in the next couple of weeks here, um, we'll see. But yeah, working on getting that set up. So yeah. Just uh, trying to do th some things and, and trying to continue to have the show grow. I appreciate all of you who were uh, here with me this morning at an unusual time. Uh, saw some of my usual people, saw some some other faces. So I appreciate all of that. Um, and uh, for everybody else, man, just uh, have a safe and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourselves uh, with your friends, with your family, whoever it is that you may spend this holiday with. So um, looks like I'm not going to get any calls on this topic. I will leave it at that again. We're out. Be safe. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, we'll be back with you on Saturday. Peace.